In this video, we're going to see how to find Pearson's correlation coefficient or R as it's known, the letter R. So all I've done in here in this list and spreadsheet page is I have entered in my data. I have my explanatory variable and I've called it EV. I have my response variable and I've called it RV and I've simply put in the numbers, the data from my research. From here, I go into menu, I go into statistics, stat calculations, and I want two variable statistics. In this window, it's asking for the X list or my explanatory variable. I've called my explanatory variable EV. The second row, I put in my response variable. I've called it RV. And when we click OK, we get all of these statistics. Now scrolling down, one of the options will be R. This is Pearson's correlation coefficient. So in this case, R is equal to negative 0.85 which tells us that it's a strong correlation if we go back to our scale for Pearson's correlation coefficient. This also tells us that it's a negative correlation because it's negative 0.85. So if we go to the scatter plot, we can confirm this. There's my scatter plot for the data. We can see it's a negative direction. It's a negative correlation. In other words, as the explanatory variable increases, the response variable decreases. From here, I can also get my regression equation. So if I go into menu, analyze, regression, and show linear, A plus BX, the CAS will tell me the regression equation. So RV equals 48.27 minus 5.6. So I can see the gradient or the slope is negative 5.6, and I can see my y-intercept is 48.2. Just underneath here, I also have my R squared value. The R squared value is the coefficient of determination. And as the name suggests, R squared, that is simply the R value from here multiplied by itself. This R squared value gives us another indication as to how closely related these two variables are. So we can turn this R squared value into a percentage by multiplying this by 100, which gives us 72.8. And we can say that 72.8% of the changes or variation in the response variable is explained by the explanatory variable. The remaining percentage is explained by external factors. And that's it, that's how we find our coefficient of determination or Pearson's correlation coefficient, or R, on the CAS.